Magandang umaga. I hope the audio is good. Ang topic natin today ay yung medyo nakaka-worry. Well, hindi naman nakaka-worry, pero it's certainly something that we should consider. Sabi ng UN Human Rights Commissioner, The UN Human Rights Office calls for an independent and thorough review of all charges against Ms. Reza and other media professionals in the Philippines and urges the Philippines judiciary to safeguard their own independence by throwing out cases that are clearly politically motivated or not in line with international human rights standards including the freedom of opinion and expression. Any charges that appear to be aimed at preventing journalists from undertaking the profession thereby depriving the public of their right to information should be dropped immediately. Okay. Uh, may mga problema dito sa statement na ito. Uh, ang una natin nakikita ang problema is sinasabi ng, ng Human Rights Commissioner. The UN Human Rights Office calls for an independent and thorough review of all charges against Ms. Reza. Sino ba ang nagre-review ng mga charges? Dito sa Pilipinas and in most cases, in the judicial system, in the legal system, it is the judiciary. Uh, ayon sa ating saligang batas, maaaring questionin maaaring i-review, sorry, maaaring i-review ng, ng hukuman ang mga acts that constitute grave abuse of discretion. Pag grave abuse of discretion, so, maaaring mag-file ng petisyon si Maria Reza sa, sa hukuman at questionin yung finding of probable cause niya. Normally po, may mga instances, normally, ang general rule dyan, hindi subject to review yan. However, pwede in cases of grave abuse of discretion. So, maaaring i-review ng hukuman yan. Reza, Maria Reza, has not availed of that as of now. Pero she can. Wala naman po ipigil sa kanya. So, anong sinasabi nitong Human Rights Commissioner na calls for an independent and thorough review of all charges? That's Maria Reza's call. Gusto niyang ipareview. Hindi pumunta siya sa Kualti Suprema o sa ibang hukuman. Eh, but it is available to her. Hindi yan dininay sa kanya. Ano yung sinasabi ng UN? Medyo premature itong statement nila. So, against Ms. Reza and other media professionals, meron bang may issue tungkol sa ibang media professionals? Parang parati na lang siya. Ito, ito pa. Sabi din, urges the Philippines judiciary to safeguard their independence by throwing out cases that are clearly politically motivated. Anong ibig sabihin niyan? Sinasabihan niyo ba yung aming hukuman na nung na pinapansin nila yung mga kaso na clearly politically motivated lang are you calling our judiciary not independent? are you questioning the integrity of our judges and our justices? wala pa tayo, wala kayong ebidensya niyan right now all you have is Ms. Reza say so and not a single line in the statement of the human rights commissioner says anything about the fact that Maria Reza really did evade her taxes really did evade taxes on, the, on behalf of Rappler. And uh, she's also, there's no statement about whether or not she committed libel. Really, seriously, by asking the, the by, by, first you call for an independent and thorough review, and then you virtually call our, our judges and our justices as uh, not being capable of throwing out cases that are clearly politically motivated or are insinuating that it is possible that they will do so if you hadn't called them out. Diba? What is going on here? What happened to our sovereignty? What happened to the fact that the Philippines is a sovereign nation and is entitled to its full control and over its own jurisdiction? What is this call out? Are you making a judgment already on our legal system, on our administration, when the fact is Maria Reza is being held for trial? There is no conviction here. There is no intent to, in fact, there is no intent to silence her. Because if this was an intention to silence her, it just gave her another platform, a bigger one, a huge platform that you clearly, UN Human Rights Commission, are participating in. Look, if we wanted to silence her, we would just really ignore her. Seriously. Because, yeah, it's not like, a, but, but, but no, she needs to participate in this. How do we know? Dear UN Human Rights Commissioner, you're making a statement absent any uh, opportunity for our government to 
contest what she is saying. Diba? All you have now is merely her say-so. You also add any charges that appear to be aimed at preventing, appear, ha? Appear to be aimed at preventing journalists from undertaking their profession. Appear thereby depriving the public of their right to information, should be dropped immediately. In other words, what they're saying is that charges that even just look like they're preventing journalists from undertaking their profession should be dropped immediately. And take note of the word that that's used. Should be. Kailangan i-drop nyo yan. Kasi nagmumukhang hindi nyo sila pinapayagan mag-practice ng maging journalist. Are we to ignore our laws? Because she looks like she is uh, being prevented from undertaking her profession. And please take note, Rappler is still being published even as we speak. Hanggang ngayon, tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang pagpapublish ng Rappler. Wala naman nakapigil sa kanila. Bakit? Tumigil ba sila magsalita? Tumigil ba sila magpublish? In fact, during the whole time na inaaresto si Maria Reza, tuloy-tuloy ang coverage nila. So, ano yung sinasabi ninyo? Anong basihan ng UN Human Rights Commissioner na magsalita ng ganito? In contravention of the sovereign Philippines, of the sovereignty of our own country, ano ba? Diba? Walang trial, walang kahit ano, walang finding dito. And as a matter of fact, parang ang sinasabi ng UN Human Rights Commissioner dito, it doesn't matter what the outcome of the case is going to be. If it merely looks like Reza is being prevented from being a journalist, then you have to stop that right away. Ganon? I'm sorry, but uh, UN Human Rights Office, I have to most respectfully disagree with the statement that you issued. This is crazy. You know, are you are you doing this merely on the say so merely on the news reports that have come out when Maria Reza is being held for trial there is no there is no finding of guilt or innocence here yet and yet you don't want you actually do not want a finding of guilt you don't want a trial because you want all of the charges dismissed simply because it looks like Maria Reza is being kept from being a journalist there is no stoppage of the publication of Rappler. In fact, despite the fact that they committed perjury or lied on their application for a SEC registration, despite the fact that they're very shady in their declarations before the Securities and Exchange Commission, despite the fact that they refused to pay the appropriate taxes, despite the fact that so much about their own organization might be illegal, you just want to sweep all of that away. Never mind the sovereign country's laws. Never mind the sovereign Filipino people. Never mind the rest of us who believe we should also be protected from her, from her libel. Never mind all of that. No, I'm sorry, sir, but the sovereign Filipino people will, well, at least the sovereignty of the Philippines demands that we finish the trial first before you, can, you even issue this statement. You're asking us to dismiss charges simply because it looks like something. No, sorry. Doesn't work that way. You're forgetting that the UN recognizes the sovereignty of all its members, of all its member countries. Why are you doing this? Why are you singling us out? Did you do this when, uh, when did you do this to, 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 the, to journalists in the United States? Did you do this to other, for journalists in other countries? No, clearly. You're making the profession of journalism uh, a special class of people that they will be exempt from the laws of the, the Philippines. I'm sorry, but it doesn't work that way. We have no exemptions for that. And as a matter of fact, Maria Reza and her organization have been systematically attempting to silence bloggers. Is there any statement about that? Is there any statement about Facebook, which tr routinely tries to silence other people who have been writing, but whose opinions differ from that of Maria Reza and for many of those countries 
that uh, claim that the Duterte administration is uh, murderous. I'm sorry, but if you want us to be humane, if you want to uphold the freedom of expression, then you are going to have to look at the facts here very, very carefully. Maria Ressa is on trial for libel. On trial. Nobody has judged her yet. And no, she is not being punished. These cases are not a punishment, but are a calling for her accounting on statements that she has made, subject to the laws of this land. All of us are subject to it. Maria Ressa abets government officials who should know better and yet file cases against bloggers. Do we hear anything from the United Nations about that? Do we hear anything from the UN Human Rights Council about this? A human rights commissioner about this I'm sorry but this should not be simply about Maria Ressa if you want to protect the human right called expression then you also have to look closely about how Maria Ressa herself is acting and why the state is moving to protect others from her I don't want to go further than this, but we have to remember, one, the Philippines is a sovereign state. When it conducts trials, when, it, uh, when its legal system is operating, you have no call to even issue a call unless there is a showing that the legal system has broken down and nothing. You have no evidence. You haven't even accused us of that yet. But you are asking for special privileges for one person who has committed, who is being held for trial, held for trial, which means that she has at her disposal legal remedies available to her. She has not been denied counsel. She has not been denied bail. She has not been denied the right to speak. She has not been denied the right to publish Rappler. It continues publication to this day. And it is, in fact, her freedom of speech that has brought you, the UN right, Human Rights Commissioner, into this fray. Stop trying to tell us what to do. At least stop trying to tell this sovereign nation what to do until there is a showing of injustice here and there is none. Maria Ressa is well represented and there are legal remedies available to her. Our judiciary has proven independent. Or at least you have not proven it to be otherwise. Enough. Enough. You should just let us decide this on our own. You can come in if we deny her her human rights. But right now, the only reason the UN Human Rights Commissioner is capable of making a statement in this is because Maria Reza has not been denied her right to expression. Nor has she been denied the right to publish Rappler. Enough. I see the president's response before by, by declaring that we should withdraw from the United Nations. It is starting to look like a logical response. I was one of those who opposed it, but now I wonder, really, if it was so <laughs> impossible. Maybe it's time to really look at it seriously again. Maraming salamat dun sa mga nakilahok. We have to keep opposing the statement by the UN Human Rights Commissioner. Wala pa ditong finding. Nililitis pa lang si Maria Reza. Nakapag-bail naman siya. Libre naman siya magsalita. Nakakapag-publish pa rin siya. Walang, walang bumusal sa kanya. And yung mga kaso niya, okay lang sana kung wala siyang ginawa eh. Eh meron eh. May basihan ito eh. Uh, sinasabi ng UN Human Rights dito, Commission dito, Commissioner dito, eh kailangan Ano, pagka nagmumukha pa lang na, na pinaprevent siya na maging journalist, magsulat o magpublish, di kailangan i-drop na yung mga kaso. Hindi po pwedeng ganun. May mga batas kami dito at hindi pwedeng makialam ang UN kasi hindi naman nag-breakdown ang ating legal system. Hindi naman nag-breakdown ang peace and order dito. Walang anarchy. At kaya lang sila nakakapagsalita dito ay dahil meron pang ang karapatan si Ms. Reza na magsalita at magpahayag. Mainit na ulo ko. Mamaya na lang po ulit. Uh, more unpopular opinions later on. Maraming salamat dun sa mga hindi pa po nagla-like and share, paki-like and share na lang po kasi yung hirap umulit ng ganito.
Maraming salamat din po. May tambayan po po mamaya. See you later.